I'm sure those of you who have been inside the schools to take KMM this year would have really felt like uh, a person who has superpowers. You, you would have felt like a superhero. Uh, tell me how many of you at the end of the session felt like being a superhero? You know, my fascination with superheroes has been from the time I have been a child. In, in the last session, you heard me speak about um, Gunmaster G9. And you heard me speak about James Bond. Well, they are human superheroes of different kinds. My personal favorites are Optimus Prime, Superman, and of course, our India's Hanuman. I love those superheroes. And in India, we also have Shakti Men. In fact, you should know the first ever recognized superhero was our Hanuman. Everybody else is only following the same trend that he set. Do you have a favorite superhero? Who is your superhero? Please don't write myself. Uh, Iron Man, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man. And what do you like about them? Like, I come to a very beautiful and a critical question. Have you ever wondered why the world is fascinated with superheroes? Why when Marvel releases a movie on superhero, it goes on to earn billions of dollars? What makes the kids so attracted by superheroes? And in the story of superheroes, is there something which is very beautiful for us to take, learn and implement? To me, the world is enamored by superheroes for three fundamental reasons. Reason number one, almost every superhero story ends well. You know, it has a kind of a happy end. Where you know at the end of it, uh, the superhero will be safe. He'll come back home properly. His health will be good. The world would have been saved. All's well that ends well. The second thing why superhero movies are very powerful, because deep inside every human being wants the good to win over the evil. The hardcore believers of good should win over evil would love to see a superhero movie because they know that the superheroes will display virtue and they are going to win. Even if they have doubts, even if they have chaos, even if their personal life and the life of their loved ones are at risk, good will win over evil. And the third reason why I think the world loves movies of superheroes is it shows that even in difficult times, very difficult times, the superheroes always make altruistic choices, which means they show tremendous selflessness in their life. So Superman, Superman is in love, but he doesn't marry. A Peter Parker also likes a girl, but he doesn't propose to her or says, I don't think I can marry you because there will be a lot of risk. The personal sacrifices which are made for the larger good is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So I think that is why we are fascinated with superheroes. Today's session has got a lot to do with superheroes. And today, for the first time ever, I'm going to have a host who's going to come and take the session ahead. I didn't tell all of you this, but I'll have to excuse myself for some time. And the host is going to take you through the entire session today. I'll join you guys back after some time, but over to the host of the social day, Harsha. See you all soon. Thank you so much. Oops, sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you, Narain, and thank you all for being here today. How are you all doing? Well, welcome to the very first talk show 
of KMM 2020. In fact, welcome to the very first talk show KMM has ever had in the last 20 years. I am your host and as Nareen said, he is in there. So I take the privilege that I may not be more, but I am equal fun to be with. And if you commitment a little bit, you will have to do a little bit. So, you are in safe hands. Um, today, I would like you all to entertain and also inform. Um, because I don't want you all to be only entertained. Learn something. Did you know? Uh, okay, do you all know Michael Jackson? Very famous breakdancing pop star. Did you know that Michael Jackson actually came very close to Marvel Comics and wanted to play Spider-Man? Imagine Michael Jackson, Spider-Man. And then if actually that happened, we would have had a breakdancing Spidey. Wouldn't it be fun? Exactly. Superheroes are fun. They are real, they are good, they are awesome. And that's what is very awesome about them. I love superheroes. Be it Spider-Man, Batman. But there's one thing I don't like about them. There's one tiny bit of thing. They are very serious. Like Joker says to Batman, why is so serious? Something like that. They are very, very serious. But I am fortunate. You know what? I know of a superhero who is not serious. How many ever, how many ever difficulties, how many ever altruistic choices, like how much ever he has to fight good for good and be good. He's still very humorous. He's funny and he gets along with people. He's fearless. He's humble. So some, all of those qualities, what Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, all of these heroes have, even he has something like that. And there is one more thing. You all have seen superheroes in movies, comics, television shows, whole shows. But have you ever seen a real superhero interview? Like Peter Parker, who was, you know, a real close to Spider-Man and got a chance to interview Spider-Man. Balgangadar Tilak Shakti Man se khud mil sakta tha. Vaise hi, ye superhero se mein mil sakti ho. Aur unka interview mein kabhi bhi le sakti ho, kahi bhi le sakti ho. So, in the world of superheroes, there is a new superhero you have not heard about before. Why? Because he's media shy. And he's humorous. Do you all want to meet him? Just say yes so that I know and I can call him to the dais. Yes. Awesome. So welcome our very own happy, funny, helpful, humorous, humble, fearless, and the charming superhero, Gladman. Yeah. <laughs> I am so odd, so surprised, and so much. I'm, I'm just so surprised right now to be having a real superhero sit next to me. Firstly, I am a big fan of yours. So what makes you so special? How are you so special? What are your superpowers? Ali, I am a very ordinary person. It is no big deal being a superhero, I'm telling you. You're just being modest. I'm, okay, fine. Like, you know, we people, we just feel sad. We get jealous if somebody does something to us. We really get disappointed if things are not going our way. Superhero. I don't think all that happens to you, does it? Of course. I am like any other normal human being. There were times when I used to wallow in self-pity. Really? And yeah. what do you do in these moments? Like, do you use your superpowers to take vengeance? Are, yes, I use my superpowers, but I use my superpowers not to take vengeance, but to create myself. And it is these powers which has made me a superhero. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sure like me, my audience is also confused. What do you mean by... Okay, let me narrate to you in a very brief time, a little part of my story. I was very poor. 
had to stay in a house with no water supply, had to sleep in a rich man's house in the kitchen like a servant. One of those nights, this man who was my relative called me and said, you have to go to the station to pick somebody at, at 2 a.m. And his children didn't want to go. So obviously I was the poor man in the house. So I was sent. And I used to crib and complain a lot because I'm poor, I'm getting exploited. I'm not getting conveniences of life, blah, blah, blah. I used to wallow a lot in self-pity. When I had to go to receive that man in the railway station at 2 a.m., guess what? The train got delayed by another two hours. Oh. And there I was, full night in the railway station, curving. And then I saw something. I saw the railway policemen come over there and with their lattice beat up people who were lying there on the footpaths. They were very, very poor people. And that is when I had an epiphany that I have a house to stay in. I am very protected. I am blessed. Because these people out there are suffering so much. Compared to them, my life is just brilliant. You would have read that poetry, na? Uh, I was in the blues for I had no shoes until upon the street, I came across a man who had no feet. That night was a transformation in my life. Self-pity gone, gratitude on. That night onwards, my life became self-pity on and self-pity gone and gratitude on. This has been my magic spell since then. You know, I used to look at closed doors and I heard you guys had the first session on closed doors and open doors. Huh? Ah. The closed door of my life was, I am poor, I am only given leftovers, my life is very difficult. And the open door was, I am treated like this because I don't have education. And today, even if I'm media shy, see, I'm coming with you on KMM's platform because I know the good work which is happening in KMM and I would also love to contribute because I believe, you know, there is a saying that a dog is a man's best friend. But education is a poor man's best friend. With education, things can be completely transformed in the poor person's life. So from that day onwards, my G power, my G power is this self-pity gone and gratitude on. Wow. I never thought of this before. Like it's such a wonderful way to live life and keep yourself calm from within. But of course, like I'm sure this isn't a superpower that makes you a superhero. There has to be more. Oh, well, yes, I, I have a few more superpowers besides gratitude. My second superpower is very interesting. But to know this interesting superpower, you must be a person who has to love how to smile. Harsha, ah, you have a good smile. Thank you. And I can see many people in those small, small tiles over here. Can I have a smile, please, from all of you? Ah. Now that you are smiling, let me share with you my second superpower. What is my first superpower? Gratitude. What is my second superpower? Laughter. You know, laughter is the cheapest and the best medicine. And to make you experience the superpower, let's laugh at five different levels. It's a very simple exercise and it can be done beautifully well. Laughter at five different levels. Well, what are the five levels? Level number one, you will silently smile. You know, as if you are a... Uh, nowadays, it doesn't happen. But let's imagine 30 years ago, as if you were a bride. How you smile? So there is... Ah, right, right. Something like... Not this one. The previous one. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Uh, silently smile. The second stage is... Laugh silently. What is silent laughter? Oh. You're laughing as if you're on the mute button, you know. 
and the third laughter is when you laugh softly like <laughs> <laughs> and the fourth is when you laugh and in the room everybody should be able to hear your laughter like <laughs> okay <laughs> and the fifth is as if your laughter should reach gods out there in the heavens which is like <laughs> okay so all of us let's do this together we'll do each for about 10 seconds okay first silently smile then laugh silently then laugh softly then laugh in a audible tone and then laugh loud as if your laughter has to reach heavens Three, two, one. Silence, Mike. This is easy. I'm sure everybody has done it. Are <laughs> you? Then laugh silently. Are you? Why are you guys not doing it? Come on! All of us are supposed to do it together. कुछ लोग ना मतलब उनको हंसना पसंद ही नहीं Are you scared that since it's early in the morning and you haven't yet gone for the nitya karma of the morning, if you laugh right now, some movement will happen in your belly and there will be some pressure you won't be able to handle? Are you scared like that? This is the silent laughter I was looking at. Correct, beautiful, very nice. Now laugh softly. <laughs> you know, soft laughter is when the two of us should be able to hear each other's laugh. <laughs> Now laugh a little loud so that the in the room everybody can hear come on boys and girls <laughs> arsha come on your name is arsha come on ha ah, right that's that. perfect 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 and now the final one which i know most of you will fail but if today you have to pass kal icsc ke kitne acche results aaye yaar come on fifth one ekdam bindas free laughter Three, two, one. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, just 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 think about this. When things are going absolutely wrong in life, and and I'm speaking about my story at least. When things were completely going wrong in my life, I was filled with anger and disappointments. but what did that anger and disappointment do good to me did it help me at all not at all so if it is not helping me and not doing good to me that approach is definitely not workable but if i can laugh feel relaxed and then the mind can focus on work the mind can focus on love my 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 mind can focus on doing things what's well in life You know, when I was down and out and angry and disappointed, my friends, families, everybody used to sympathize with me. They used to feel sorry for me, but they also kept their distance from me. Nobody likes to be with a sad person. You get, you go nowhere in life if you choose to remain sad. People will come to you for two minutes and then they will run away from you as if you are. A garbage bin which is stinking. Sadness makes you stink. Laughter makes you very attractive. In fact, let me give you an example. Have you ever watched a horror movie in a cinema hall or mm, with your loved ones, like family or friends inside your home? Now, when the scene is intense and scary. there are times when somebody will make a funny noise or pass a funny comment and at that moment everybody laughs a few seconds earlier some people would have been scared their heart beat would have gone up they might be thinking their heart will leap out of their mouth and they might might going to die but a little laughter and it just diffuses the tension in the atmosphere and lightens up the moment i have realized that laughter besides it being the best medicine is an also amazing tool a powerful tool that helps us to get through stress sickness fear 
anger, loss, and disappointments. So, my darling friends, my second superpower is laughter. You are incredible. <laughs> It's like you have gratitude, you're calm, and then you just remove your tension by laughing. But then how do you deal with your failures? Ah, I deal with my failures with ambition. Uh, wouldn't it be safe for people to be, you know, in failures, like in a closed zone or something? Being ambitious is exposing yourself. Yes. So how is it? Okay. Can you name one person can you name one person for me who has achieved something big in life without failing? I can't think of. Which means if I am failing, what does it mean? It doesn't mean I am useless. It just means I need to learn and move on. Did those people who are super successful play safe after failing? No, they did not. This is my belief. Life without ambition is a bird without wings. Actually, this is my good friend Narendra saying. I'm simply copying it from him. <laughs> <laughs> Life without ambition is a bird without wings. Yes, but when the going gets tough and one has to deal with failures, how can they still be ambitious? How can they remain ambitious? I keep telling myself this, Naren, Gladman, all your failures are temporary. Your bouncing back is what will inspire people. Don't care about failures. It is always your bouncing back which will inspire people. Sachin Tendulkar was playing in IPL. Brad Hogg from Australia, the leg spinner, was bowling. Brad Hogg got Sachin Tendulkar out. Brad Hogg went for a huge circular run throughout the entire pitch. She was so excited to get Tendulkar's wicket. That night, with that ball with which he got Tendulkar out, he went to Sachin Tendulkar's room and requested for his autograph and said, I would like to cherish this ball with which I have taken your wicket. And I'm going to put it in the showroom at my home. I'm going to have it on display for everybody to enjoy. So if you don't mind, can you just autograph this ball and give it to me? Sachin, of course, dutifully autograph, but below the autograph, he also wrote two words, never again. <laughs> never again. I failed because I got out on your ball, but never again. Did Sachin Tendulkar move into a depression thinking, oh my God, Brad Hogg never out kar diya. Ab to mere cricketing ka career khatam ho gaya hai. Ab to mujhe commentator ban jana chahiye, sanyas le lena chahiye, chhod dena chahiye. Meri wife Anjali to aise bhi doctor hai, ghar to wo chala hi legi. Did he start thinking all this? No. Then why should I be negative when I am going through failures? When I am a failure, that is the time to be ambitious. So how ambitious was Sachin Tendulkar? Never again. He says, Ek bar out kiya hai, never again. Now, if this is not ambition, then what is? Ambition is my third superpower. Wow, amazing. That's like super cool. Super cool? Yes. You really liked it? I loved it. Good. Now, tell me three ambitions of your life. Oh, uh, impress me with your ambitions. Come on. So I have one, my dad does not believe that I can, but uh -huh. I still have that one in me. Uh -huh. That says, before 50, I want to be a multi-millionaire. Ah, okay. I really want to be a multi-millionaire. Okay. I love art, so I want my skills studio. Excellent. And the third one will follow. Hmm. It's kind of going to be in the same thing, but I wish to be the chief coordinator of the end. <laughs> Chief coordinator of KMM. Okay. I, I'll put in a word for my friend Narin and let's see 
what he says but he he will not be able to say no to me and uh, multi millionaire before 50 i can say i want to be a multi millionaire because before 100 i'm actually 91 kg <laughs> <laughs> just joking just joking but that's a good one huh? before 50 become a multi millionaire yeah. an art studio uh yes brilliant done Uh, uh, invite me to inaugurate thank you so much yes definitely and oh. since i have already told them i have access to you whenever i want i shall do that oh hey but i am still a little confused it's glad man ha uh-huh. so you explain g l a i am sure there is one more ah uh, okay so my name is glad man this is my insignia and glad stands for gratitude laughter ambition and the last actually gives life to these three deep power is called the power of development it is possible for me to gain the first three parts because of the fourth power development how do i develop myself what is development all about develop through learning develop through experimenting with new things in life develop through listening to others especially their suggestions and developing through escaping my comfort zones if you look at these four different kinds of development you will find it says lele develop through learning experimenting new things listening to suggestions and escaping my comfort zone oh ho oh, sab tere ko explain karna padta hai life is saying le le if i implement these four learning experimenting listening and escaping comfort zones i am bound to develop myself life opens its possibilities like crazy and it is all these four things together which gives me my super powers of doing everything that i do in my life that's why i am called glad man glad man <laughs> i told you he is hilarious and funny right such an important point and the way he said it but i still have a question uh, okay. i can ask you as many as i want it's shoot. my show shoot is it easy to develop isn't it doesn't it require too much effort too much courage to develop okay my darling harsha let me give you two small examples first there were main frame computers you know that used to take almost a entire room first in the world ibm then there were pcs personal computers first in the world today lenovo then came smartphones first in the world today apple now tell me who is more successful today ibm lenovo lenovo or apple Apple. Apple. Why? It kept developing. IBM did not develop their mainframe computers businesses du- down, dumba, khatam. Lenovo does not even make five percent profit of Apple. So, would you like to have one dumba which does not work anymore? Would you like to have five percent profits, or would you like to be as rich as you can imagine, multi-millionaire? Of course. If you don't develop. It, it's khatam. It's gone. It's over. That which does not change, does not grow, does not develop, and that which does not grow and does not develop is irrelevant. Is dead. Is rejected. Is taken for granted. Is completely ignored. You're such a pretty lady. Why would you like to be ignored? Not at all. Second example. First, there were horse carts. You know that. buggy then there was railways then there was taxis have you seen that kali kali pili in bombay they have kali pili taxis huh? they have a few still they still have few few yeah and today it is uber now among them who's making more money today the horse cart wala railways to always in loss and the taxi kali pili poor fellows everybody wants to uber right So if I don't change and I don't develop, what happens to me? I wish the world is what it was earlier, but it it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. 
So development is necessary. Are you still a little scared of development? Yes, I would like to know how can I make it easy for myself to develop. You are a very smart lady. You want development to become easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, at least if I can have a formula where I can put things together, and then I can know how much I have to put in. You are taking a lot from me today, huh? <laughs> But no problem because your name is Harsha, and I like it. You are my power number two. Thank you. So I will give it to you. Um, all of you out there who would like to know how to develop easy, take a sheet of paper. I'm going to teach you how to make mint money out of this paper. No, not at all. I'm going to teach you something else. <laughs> कुछ भी कुछ भी बोला तो समझता है क्या? Now look at this. Divide that page into four parts. Make this quadrant for yourself. One axis is easy and difficult, and second axis is. Where I need support, and where I am enough, which is myself. All developmental needs in your life will fall into these four categories. Now, what do you do, Harsha? See, that which is easy, and you can do it yourself. You should do it very fast. Don't postpone that ever. Right? Yeah. Don't even wait for mood. Hmm. Easy है ना कर डाल, okay? Done. Now look at the other easy quadrant, which is easy and support. You need somebody support, but doing it is easy. For example, you wanted guidance from me. Easy to ask, and uh, Gladman is giving you support. Easy to take support. Fatta hard. Don't hesitate. Go and ask people. Take their support. Implementing is going to be easy. And I have learned this from my mother. At home, if Adrak is not there, she needs the neighbor's support and my support. Why my support? She would tell me, "Go to the pados, bring that Adrak because chai has to be made." And without Adrak, chai will not be good. People hesitate in taking support. But what is love and relationships all about? Go bindas, be easy. Don't say I am sorry. Uh, I don't want to disturb you. What nonsense! Are if I relate with Harsha, Harsha relates with me. Um, I should be able to ask any support and all support from her. It makes my life easy, so why not? So if a child in college or in school knows that there is a smarter child in class, they should go to them and say, "I'm not able to understand this. Can you explain it to me?" if some businessman wants to create a website and they don't know how to do that find out one of your friends who has a good website and ask them how did you do it can you just explain it to me are pooch na ye puri duniya is existing to support you take the support so so first take care of this above the line wala thing you know this will give you momentum then there is that third quadrant called development where you are enough but it is difficult for example letting go of something which is painful for you the beauty about ambition is it can help you to drop all the pains of your life because your focus is on something which is productive and not just on something which actually pulls you back in life but nobody can go inside your head do something over here and take those memory cells that and throw it up it can be done it is difficult but possible चलो लग जाओ उसमें द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इज वेर यू नीड सपोर्ट फ्रॉम पीपल एंड इट इज डिफिकल्ट दिस टेक्स टाइम सो डोंट बिगिन विद सपोर्ट एंड डिफिकल्ट बिगिन विद इजी एंड माई सेल्फ देन गो टू इजी एंड सपोर्ट देन गो टू माई सेल्फ एंड डिफिकल्ट एंड देन गो टू सपोर्ट एंड डिफिकल्ट यू मूव लाइक दिस Turn a turn, you will develop yourself like nobody's business. ठीक है? बिल्कुल. अब मेरा ambition थोड़ा easy लग रहा है मेरे को. So, alright. Let me say something. 
do you think your friends who are watching this will remember what glad stands for in gladman let's ask them i have an option called poly oh and we can oh. find out how many of them really remember what gladman stands for chalo theek hai dekhte hain so are you guys ready you have five options and you have to tell me what are the superpowers of gladman are some of them are getting it right kya Yeah, I guess all of them are getting it right. Oh, oh! There is one genius. I can see one genius. Mm. Interesting. So five, four, three, two, and your time's up. Is that? Yes. Let's see the results. Oh, most of them have got it right. Ah. Uh. There are some genius people out there who are listening very carefully. I think. <laughs> But honestly, it was pleasure having you on our talk show. Would you like to say something to our audience, please? Ah, uh, I really enjoyed coming over here and discussing this with you. And I have some place to go, Harsha. So if you don't mind, I am glad in many ways. I mean, of course, I am glad, man. But I am glad that I came. I am glad you invited me. I am glad I spoke about glad. I am, I am glad uh, people know about glad, man. I am glad that most of them understood what glad, man stands for. Hmm. And I am glad that I shared a little part of my life with all of you. I will have to leave now, and if it is okay for you. Uh, Thank you so much. It was our pleasure to have you on our show, our very first KMM talk show, and having a superhero makes it the best. Oh, thank you so much! Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Love you all. Bye. See you all soon.